Doctors. I'm Katie Clark from Halifax CLP and it's my first conference. I have six children including a son with nocturnal epilepsy and a daughter with complex health needs who's 26. I've worked for over 23 years listening to families across the country and listening to their stories of struggles bringing up their disabled children and also listening to their stories of how much they love their children. I manage a package of direct payments for my daughter that includes managing nine members of staff. I do that unpaid and I do that without any support from social care. I brought my daughter up to have dreams like her brothers and sisters. I brought her up when there were words like hope, aspirations, choice, control and inclusion. Those words rarely exist now, thanks to austerity. Currently social care is the poor relation of the NHS, and yet it's the glue that holds everything together. We are still waiting for the green paper on social care which was due out in the summer of 2017 and is being constantly pushed back. Those who receive social care are at the bottom of the ship pile, which is why people who care for them are paid such lousy wages. Those who receive social care are our friends, our colleagues, our brothers, sisters, grandparents, and our sons and daughters. They are devalued, dehumanised, discriminated against daily and there are hundreds of thousands of preventable, avoidable deaths each year with little data on the actual causes. This is due to little or no care in the community. There are children with autism and learning disabilities, failed by cuts and a complex system who end up in crisis due to lack of early intervention. Finish they up, end up placed in inappropriate settings called assessment treatment units, which cost the NHS between three and 11,000 a week. Last sentence, please. That's a week. Social care is about caring for an equal, just, fair society. Thank Show you. you care and support this motion.